Not so much unlike the fourth inning. We're going to let you guys know how to get through the fifth inning program fast as possible without any headaches. Well, you know, a lot of grinding. So as you can see, I've already done this method once for 250 walks. And I'm pretty much, I think I got like 16,000 or something. And then you can also do like the missions and such the daily missions to uh even increase this further however in the fourth inning i really i did the daily missions i believe but that was about it other than that all i did was this method here so let's go ahead and track and i'll go ahead and show you how to complete this method let's get it so what i usually do i'll come into diamond dynasty this is just me. I don't know if you actually have to go into Diamond Dynasty, but I always uh, go into Diamond Dynasty first and then I exit out. The next thing you're going to want to do is go up to settings, go into settings. As you can see up on the top left, I have mine, this setting under walk meth, right? Walk method. Uh, but that's if you haven't saved it. You know, I would suggest to save it under something like that. We'll go ahead and get into gameplay. Basically, all you got to do is make sure the hitting difficulty is on Legend and the pitching difficulty is on Legend. PCI Outer, if you want to go ahead and throw that on, as soon as it appears, you can go ahead and enable the intentional walk, right? Again, making sure that your batting is on Legend and your pitching is on Legend. That's 100% important. That's the most important thing. As well as go ahead, have all this turned off you don't want the batter walk up on it'll just take you that much longer trust me just go ahead and pause the video if you need to just have everything off on the bottom fast play fast play is important as well pitching only all rarely and then completely off so audio and video that's obviously going to be up to you show you what i got mine set at but again that's really, you know, that's neither here nor there. That's Mox Nits. Mode specific, again, don't really need to mess with that. And then you'll go ahead and you'll save as a new preset. Me, myself, as I stated, already have it saved under walk meth. So that's all I need to do. So once you have all your settings squared away and saved, go ahead, come down to play now, go into exhibition. Again, you're going to need two controllers with this. Now, the second controller, I've stated before, you probably got an old one, you know, laying around, maybe like the Y button doesn't work or something. Really, with this method here, all you're going to need to do is have a controller that the L, B, B, and A button work right so if you got an old controller that is just sitting around maybe one of the left sticks or something or jacked up on it go ahead and get that bad boy and go ahead and plug it in so once it's plugged in if you hadn't signed in you'll just sign in under the account that you're logged in with which mine obviously is matrix native so with player one with player one you're going to go ahead and move him to the left now also just be mindful that player one we're not even going to use this controller anymore once this method once we get this method going right it's just going to be sitting there so my suggestion to you would be go ahead and put an adapter a charging adapter on your controller right and you can go ahead and plug it into your controller on player one you can do it to player two too but you definitely want to have it on player one and then you won't have to keep you know reaching over and you know messing with the sticks that's what she said next we'll go ahead with our player two controller and we'll go ahead and i just keep it basically default so the dodgers has a really good pitching staff and that's really what you're going for here right you want a team with a good pitching staff most pitchers will most pitchers will actually be able to make it to 250 pitches some won't and you'll have to go in the bullpen no big deal like he'll actually injure himself on the mound trying to throw so many walks right intentional walks okay so once that's set you always want to make sure that you ready up the second controller first at least that's what i do i don't really think it matters but always make sure player control two is always the first that i set and then i set one then you pick your field with one pick your settings again just ensuring that fast play is definitely click right and then you go ahead again it usually defaults you to the best pitcher but you want to make sure whatever your player two team is that you pick the best pitcher that they offer right best starting pitcher that they offer which in this case is walker texas ranger so we'll go ahead we got him picked casey mize even though we're not really even going to see him and then go ahead hit the start button on player two start button on player one and you're all fucking set for this method today huh
so I'm letting this load. That way you guys know that, like, you know, there's really no funny business or whatnot going on. So we'll go ahead and load it. While it's loading, I'll go ahead and tell you the way I learned this method and the way that I basically make this method. You go ahead and get a rubber band. I have a tactical forearm strap, as I stated in the fourth inning. I showed you guys this method during the fourth inning method video. But you'll go ahead and you'll just make sure that you lock down the LB with, like, a rubber band or some kind of forearm strap. Just something where it will have the LB button uh, depressed, right? That's what you gotta make sure happens, right? And that way, you won't have to hold the LB down uh, every time that you're trying to initiate the walk. It's okay to skip over with your player one controller, and if you have your player one controller locked in with a charging device, then you're all good. You won't even touch that anymore until the end of this method. Next thing you wanna do with your player two controller, it's really simple. You can either hold down the LB. Me, myself, I have it strapped down right now. So it's going to be depressed the whole time. And all I have to do is hit the B and then the A. And you just rinse and repeat that for as many times as you want. As many times as you want. Basically, for 250 walks, you get right around 16,800 XP, okay? Which I'll show you just like I did in the fourth inning video, right? But it's just that fast. Now, when it comes back to the main screen after this walk here, you'll see as soon as your outer PCI comes up, you could go ahead and rinse and repeat. You just lock and load, hit the B, hit the A, just that fast. And, you know, it is a grind, but, like, you know, I'll watch a movie, I'll watch a documentary, I'll watch something, I'll be doing something, and basically just hitting the B and the A, right? As you can see now, once you walk in the first run, obviously player one starts getting, you know, experience points for getting the runs, right? And that's basically how this method goes. So I've done it up to 601 times, right? 601 times, I know it works. And this method has not been nerfed. I know in my one video they were stating that this method had been nerfed. Uh, I believe that was so people would not do it, but this method is working, it's working 100%. So, you know, fuck the haters, you know what I'm saying? Just go ahead and do it, get through that fifth inning, get to them freaking cards that you want, that everybody's gonna have. Me, myself, I cannot wait to get that Nolan Ryan. The no, no, Nolan Ryan. That is gonna be freaking stupendous. So, we'll see you at 250. Okay guys, so we're at 249 walks. We'll go ahead and get this last walk in. Okay, 250 walks. Now what you wanna do with your player two controller is just head on over to exit. Make sure you go down one and hit confirm exit because if you hit confirm restart, you're gonna be pretty fucking pissed. Yeah, make sure you go down to confirm exit, not confirm restart. So confirm exit, go ahead and hit A. That'll be it for your player two controller. So your player one controller, I picked it back up just now and I'll just flick the buttons a little and then we'll just wait. Again, I won't interrupt the loading so that you'll see, okay, 250, we got 16,822, got a new program tier reached and we got the packs there that uh, you get with the 16,822 XP. 16,822 XP is for 250 walks. Takes you around and 20 minutes maybe, 20 to 30 minutes. I don't care, man. This is the fastest way, I believe. And then if you get bored with this, you know, you can always go do like the missions on it or you can, you know, go play, you know, whatever, Battle Royale, anything that'll get you to your five inning program, right? And as you can see here, now we're right at level three. We just opened the uh, ball player and the show. So one thing I will tell you though, and this is kind of important, sometimes when you do this method, you'll have to quit the show. You'll have to stop the app or the game, and then you'll have to you know, restart it basically. You don't have to restart your console, but you do have to restart the actual game. What I did want to show you is I did restart it from the last uh, 250 walk score, and you can see now that it's actually showing the points accumulated, right? Because before we started it, even after when we had walked the 250 and got our second, whatever it was, 16,008, it still put us here, even though it 
showed us that we did unlock these packs here on the timeline it still only showed us at 17.5 but once you go in quit the app like i said you know you don't have to turn off your console but you what you want to do is completely quit out of the app or the game restart it and then once you restart it head back to the fifth inning program and you'll see here on the timeline that it actually will show up on the timeline right i don't see this method going anywhere it worked on fourth inning i'm sure it's going to work on fifth inning so with that being said i'm not going to open these right now because i just wanted to show you guys this method and that it does indeed still work and it has not been nerfed hope you enjoyed the video today as always tell all your friends about our channel if you enjoyed the video and if you hadn't one time do me a favor snipe the like snipe the sub i'll get you next video because that's how we roll And 900. So I would actually like to probably go to 950, but I know at some point it'll turn over. It might be at 999. Maybe we'll check it out one night, but for now, just gonna hold what we got. So then, what you'll do with your player two controllers, hit start over to exit. Again, don't hit confirm restart, right? And then hit confirm exit and make sure. Make 100 sure that that's with player two controller yeah so once that happens uh go ahead and pick up your first controller and just kind of wiggle the sticks like so okay so for 900 walks we got 33,481 xp and yeah, obviously we reached a couple of tiers here. Uh, we're lower in the fifth inning right now. So obviously we're going to gain tiers faster, right? <clears throat> but as you can see, it definitely works. My only issue is I believe at 600 walks, you get 33K. So, you know, we'll have to check that out or 32K or something. So I'm not, you know, I'm not 100% sure that going all the way to 900, like, will get you anything extra over say four or five hundred i'll have to i'll have to look i have it all written down actually it's in my fourth inning video too but but anyways as you can see we got 33,481 xp for 900 walks again i think you get around that for 600 walks too so just to keep it safe if you want to go like long distance marathon intentional walk to get the xp if i were you i would just uh i would go ahead and just do it in blocks of like 500 yeah that's probably what i do or even 250 300 just to make sure so now we'll exit out of this 